it's me, T, from the Pattersons taking a train to Tibet. Looky here. Water. But this is, you know, here's what they're doing these days, you know. They got the gimmick for everything. Well, it's nice. I used to be a lab technician, you know, medical, whatever. It is. But they have this other kind of water now. Right. It's this whole thing, alkaline thing. I keep on, um, I, the, the PhD of water is like the PhD. Yeah, the PhD of water. I know, it's, I forgot what it's, it's like seven or something. It's over five, over six. I just know that, but it's somewhere like seven, five. So I don't know, whatever it is. That's the normal pH of six, five or whatever it is. But now the newest thing is like, you want to have more alkaline in your water. So now this one here, they, 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 they call it, uh, this has a pH of plus nine, okay? And uh, purified water with electrolytes and for great taste. Electrolytes for great, well, okay. Two times more electrolytes, right? Uh, fuels your performance, elevated alkalinity. alkalinity. Uh, so anyway, so I guess the ingredients is just ingredients. Where's the ingredients? I don't know. Ingredients, purified water, uh, something, blah, blah, blah. That's it. I don't, I don't know. Something I got to read. I, can't, I don't have my reading glasses there someplace. Um, oh, then they have the alkal. They, they, oh, here it is. Hey, they have uh, they have some sort of thing, and I do need my glass for this. Okay, they have the PhD, you know, the the the, the, the whatever on on the thing. It tells you vinegar is at uh, three something. Uh, it's interesting because one of the things you're supposed to be taking, or you should take, is is um, uh, apple cider vinegar tablets or apple cider butters, uh, um, or sports and vitamin drinks at at four PhD at four something like that. Coffee is at five. Milk is at six. Bottle water's at seven, and this water's at nine, uh, nine, nine plus. Then it goes up to alkaline up to 14 or something like that. I know I was down in, um, I know I was down in, uh, in Virginia, and I used to go to the health food store, and they, this is for years, and they have, they have the alkalinity water there. You, you, you take your little bottle in, it's for two dollars, you get whatever, whatever. This one costs six dollars. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so anyway, yeah, uh, what I um, what I do, I, this is like it's like four o'clock in the morning now. It's four thirty in the morning. What time is it now? It's about four thirty now because I, I wake up early, but I had woke up a little earlier because uh, I just woke up because I went to bed earlier. I think uh, I think I went to bed about by eight something like that. So I woke up earlier at court. Corey Hocum uh, fifty one fifty. But what I do is sell uh, peptides. I do this anyway. I take that in the middle of the night. Whenever I wake up, I take peptides. Right? But, but this is my little pouch. And I for kind of medicine pouch. So it comes from a nice little thing. It comes from Robo's Rail. I took the Robo's Rail line. We should do that one of these days. Well, no, see, I call it the booze cruise for middle-aged people, but it's like not a cruise is on a train. Okay, it's so South Africa. It's like taking the, the Orient Express. I can't explain. It's a bygone days sort of happy. <clears throat> but anyway, my thing. So, like when I wait, when I do get up about uh, six o'clock, so I'm, I'll probably go back to sleep a little bit, try to nap because I'm a cat napper. Uh, I have my um, my uh, blood pressure pills. Take that in the morning when, when I wake up. So I'm waking my routine. I wake up. I take my pills. Uh, this and I'm, right now I'm taking a. Uh, uh, D3, 5,000 units of uh, vitamin D3. That's all I take in the morning. Oh, 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 oh um, what I've been doing, also just just recently, just recently, like last last couple of days, what I do is I take uh, black sheet tablets, right? And what I do is I take one in the morning. In the afternoon, I take two. You're supposed to take two a day. And then in the evening, sometimes I take another one. This is just because of, well, because I'm that way. You can't OD over these things. So, um, so that's my routine. But here's the thing. <clears throat> this, this is always, I guess this is, um, I, this was my routine anyway. But this is the, um, I guess, see, I don't do, I don't do vitamin C tablets. I mean, when I was working for the Sopranos, I used to give them vitamin C every morning, you know, the chewable things every morning. And I think I should pop one too. But I'm really not into vitamin C that much. You know what I mean? If I can't get it from, you know, from, uh, here, let me show what I got here. If I can't get it, ah, my vitamin C from avocado. 
or something else. Not even getting ready yet. I think I'm an avocado in here with the with the banana. Got to wait a couple of days. I would say. I mean, I think avocado. I eat avocado. Avocado. Oh, here we go. Ha 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 ha. Oh yeah. This one's ready. This one's gonna be ready. So I have this avocado tomorrow. Yeah, this one's not ready. So this one here is gonna be ready. So I'm leaving it with the banana so I'll get more right. So I have me an avocado, avocado and tomato sandwich later on. But if I can't get my vitamin C from natural things, then I just don't get it. Right? Um, so what was I saying? But here's the thing. Antibiotics and the, the, the pharmaceutical. There used to be, we used to do this thing in the 60s. If the white man touched it, leave it alone. No, they were actually referring to as women, you know, the white women. But but at this days, I'm going, if the white man touches it, leave it alone. Meaning that if it's processed, you know, if someone, then, then leave it alone. So this is the thing my sister, uh, me and my sister are very hooked up with, you know, with our, our lineage in terms of our grandmother used to teach a lot of stuff. Well, she didn't teach. She'd be doing stuff. And if you don't pick it up, you just don't pick it up. But there's this thing that my sister got. And I think my grandmother used to do this. But she, she used to do something else. Anyway, what it is, you take an onion. This is too big, actually. This is a Spanish onion, I think. I think it's a Spanish. Anyway, it's a little bit too big. Uh, but, you know, it's probably a, a smaller onion, right? You can, So I'm going to probably cut this in a, take a third off, right? And you... Take the onion and you put it in a mason jar. Put it in a mason jar with uh, with honey. This is unfiltered raw honey. Okay, so I'll be I'll be using this. You put it in a mason jar. I just put. I don't know how much I. To, 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 you got to see these 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 home remedies. You got to like a pinch of this, whatever. That, so you can't really do it. So I don't know how much I'm gonna do. So probably, it's probably like up to half the thing. You put it in a mason jar. Close it. And you put and you put it in some dumb dark cabinet for like a, like six months. <laughs> Sorry, smart. You put it in like six months, and after that six months, you know with that mixture you have, you just, just tea, you know teaspoon at a time. You just you know or to taste like that, and that's an antibiotic, natural antibiotic. So I haven't done that in a while. So I'm gonna wow, I ain't done that. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna do that now. It's uh, it's. Uh, it's middle of March, April, May, June, July, August. Yes, yeah, so I'll be back in in in. I'll be back in July. So maybe about August, September. I'll have my antibiotic uh, mixture. So I'll be doing that when I get back. He said, "Well, that's taking a long time." Yeah, it do take a long time. What you gonna do now for the coronavirus? Nothing. This is not for, actually. It's antibiotic for. Doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, guess what? Coronavirus just started. And, you know, viruses have their cycles, you know, because, you know, we color in the population. <laughs> anyway, so by that time, I'll be, you know, these, you know, da 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 da. Here's the thing I'm afraid to die, coronavirus, like that. And fear, man. <sighs> There's a film. Um, it was an old film. I just showed this in the 70s. I saw this film in the 60s. Uh, it was by uh, Fassbender. The um, the German guy, uh, it's called Ali. Fear eats the soul. Ali colon fear eats the soul. I think that's the name. Uh, that's the name of the film. It's a German film in German, uh, and it's a it's a, it's a, it's an African immigrant. I forgot what country he's from, and a German woman, and uh, uh, and they uh, they have a liaison, and that's what the film is about. Um, actually, the the woman that played it is was Fassbender's wife. Fassbender is a wh whack cat, man. It, it, I, people talk about what, what they got all these sexual, that pansexual, whatever. Da 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 da. Well, Fassbender was one of those. He's one of those filmmakers. He had his own. He had his own group, his own company. You know, but like back then, it's like a. Like Orson Welles had the own his own like crew, you know what I mean? And because when you have that own crew, like when I had Creative Unity crew, like before I do audio drivers, then you have your own crew, then you get a lot of stuff because you can do you can do what you call that. Um, you know, shorthand like that, in a, in a weird sort of way, uh, Spike Lee, when his his uh, his he didn't have really have a crew, but I used to see him all the time uh, doing off Broadway plays, going to plays because his crew is like all of New York off Broadway people, all of his early people. Usually, people he got was people from theater, you know. So it's good. I, I'm meandering as usual. Hold on a second. Early morning. So anyway, I, I I say that because um, I was walking like like a. Uh, by the way, in this day and age, this, day and age, this coronavirus thing, you got to do more exercise. Do your exercise. 
Yeah, stay away from crowded places like they say, blah, 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 wash, blah, 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 yeah, blah. Anyway, uh, and I was walking, and, and I heard this, because in New York, you know, people have conversations loud all the time, especially, you know, well, you know how we talk loud. And uh, and the guy was saying that he was in a bank, and somebody came in a bank coffin, and the bank closed down and kicked everybody out. Woo, fear eats the soul. Um so we 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 this fear and anxiety, so whatever is happening, I think it's going to do more damage than, than actual virus. You know, panic's going to do actual virus. But look, I have this thing like I hate to say it this way because I don't want to be fatalistic. I guess I'm an old guy, so you know it doesn't matter. But the the population will be cold naturally. You know, when by, you know you have this whole eugenics movement. You know, um, uh, called eugenics. You know, uh, like one of my favorite people or uh, uh, is, is uh, George Bernard Shaw. But he was one of those people that, you know, get rid of the black people. Okay, we got to get reduce the population. There's a whole movement about that. People don't understand population is going to reduce by itself. You know, you don't have to do nothing else. But, but these diabolical, you know, folks, they, that's the way they are. You know, in fact, it's interesting because uh, I really like uh, George Bernard Shaw's play. Right? Then there's this guy, uh, uh, Rick Stout. I should read all his books, right? And uh, they're like separated at birth. They but, but existed at the same time, you know, in, in the 30s, 40s, like that. But I read all the Rex Daniel Rolf Wolf series. I used to go on these tears, just, just, just you know, when I was an arts director, um, uh, for instance, I, I would, when I became arts director at WBAI, what I did, I stopped reading nonfiction books. I just read fiction books because I was in this arts department and whatever, whatever. And um, that friend said, went on a Sue Grafton tear, like, like those kind of things. And uh, so everybody knew. And uh, so my, I had started this thing called Shelf Life. It was a book kind of series. So I had a lot of people, readers around me. And they said, yeah, they, we know you don't read any of these nonfiction, but you got to read this book. You got to read this book. I said, well, what are you talking about? It reads like a mystery. Okay, what's the book? They call it Coming Plague. I said, okay, Coming Plague. Blah, blah, blah. I said, no, said, no, you got to read this book. So I read the book. It did read like a mystery. It was a great, like a murder mystery or something like that. The Coming Plague by Laura Garrett. And this was in, because uh, I remember, I, this was the early 90s. It was Kim Arsenal. And um, the thing about it, it's The Coming Plague, and it really is about that human beings do everything possible to basically kill themselves. You know, like, like when they had the bubonic plague, you know, they were quarantined that the castles would roll up their moat, but the, but the bug was in there already. So, you know, these people basically, they would open up these castles, these, you know, moats or whatever castles later, you know, and everybody be dead because nobody knew how the thing was, was being spread, that kind of thing. So what am I saying? Uh, look, the bug, the legionnaires disease aids a bunch of these things they're going to kill a certain amount of people uh but i i think that's just the way that's just the way um so you got to keep your immune system up you know do what you can uh, uh if 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 the um if the pharmaceuticals ever try to give you a a a, a a a a cure or whatever it is the problem is what they do is the side effects of the cure is worse than, you know, the, the thing itself. It's better to get the bug and either live or die rather than have the consequences of all these other things. Anyway, I just need to get this all out because that's just, be informed, you know. But all I can tell you right now is uh, listen to your grandma, if she was smart, or your, you know, your grandparents are like that. Um, and if, if, if you can, if, if you get through this, just know, and it's, it's going to be months, you know what I mean? It's going to actually be months. So prepare yourself. That's all I can say. Um, I did a thing. There was this guy uh, on Joe Rogan, uh, Michael something or another, and uh, I'll put a link to him. But what he says, because, you know, there's a lot of stuff out here. Black people think that they, you know, they're they going to be immune to this thing. I don't know. It'll all come out. We'll find out about all these things. We'll see. We being you and me. Me being T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, like you know what I only suspect about woo, stuff that's going on right now, especially this, well, check you later. <laughs>